Hi, I'm David Buster. I'm an instructor in New York City in taxi school. I train Uber drivers, car service drivers, and yellow cab drivers on navigating this incredible city. And one of the most exciting applications in a long time has been the app called Waze. Waze was purchased in 2013 for over a billion dollars by Google and is avail available currently for free by simply downloading to your smartphone. And I want to give some instructions here on how to use Waze because students in class are always asking me, how does Waze work? How does the Waze app help me get from where I am to where I want to be? So let's do a demonstration on how to use this incredible app. You'll see a small icon on the lower left-hand corner of your screen. It's the uh, little car on wheels. Right here, you'll see a search bar. Press that. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a microphone. So let's press that microphone and speak an example destination into the Waze app. Three zero one Park Avenue, Waldorf Astoria. Done. Search. And there we see Waldorf Astoria, 301 Park Avenue, Manhattan, 3.7 miles away. Let's press that. Go. Now, this is really important. Right here, before Let's starting go. out, let's press feet. routes. Turn left on 27th Street. Before I'm starting, I'm going to press routes. And I want to see three possible ways to go based on ways tracking other drivers already at this moment. At this moment, on Sunday, uh, New York City is going to have probably major traffic. I'm looking for both the fastest and the shortest distance. 19 minutes, 4.9 miles, 21 minutes, 8.25. So let's go, obviously, with the first. 19 minutes and the 3.5 miles. As you can see, In please wait. Feet, and now my lady voice Street. tells me what to do with a nice visual uh, screen there in front of me to help me navigate. Starting out on 21st Avenue, I would take a left on 27th Street and start working my way into New York City. All right, since I'm not going to do that at the moment, let's go ahead and stop this particular trip. So to do that, I'm going to press right here on the time, 523, and you'll see on the right of the screen, stop. I'll press stop, and that ends this particular uh, trip. That's how simple it is. Let's do one more. Now, as you uh, have places that you go to on a regular basis, for example, here in New York City, that would be Grand Central Terminal, Penn Station, Port Authority, places like that, the two airports in New York City, of course, which are LaGuardia and JFK, Newark Airport, another uh, common destination. So I'm going to press, again, my icon on the lower left, Favorites. And you can see there is John F. Kennedy International Airport. I'm going to press that. Again, Turn right, on 31st right there, Street. I want to check routes just to be sure. Give it just a moment to go out and search. Again, looking for the times and the distances. 31 minutes, 15 miles, 35 minutes, 13 miles. Again, to save four minutes, I'm going to go ahead and choose the fastest at the moment. Turn but right I do that with Street. the information in front of me. Again, let's cancel that since we don't really want to go to a JFK at the moment. So you can see how easy it is to input uh, a destination into the Waze app. Another way to do that is to type in a destination that you might want. For example, I'll press the uh, icon search the little uh you can see the little keyboard comes up let's put waldorf and at that point it already has in its uh, database the waldorf historia so i'm going to press waldorf historia calculating in and feet, we're on the way turn left just on that 29th simple Street. Now, let's say you want to change the voice command on the Waze app. 
let's go to the icon. Let's press your name. Go to settings. Under settings, scroll down to sound. I'm sorry, scroll down to voice commands. Enable, we have that enabled. Let's go to sound, voice language. And you can see I'm using Jane. There's another voice, Amy. This is all English since I'm a native English speaker and I want my instructions in English. If you'd like to use Colonel Sanders, Morgan Freeman, and then you'll see all the other languages that are available for the Waze app. Pretty incredible. So hopefully there's a language here that you do speak, and that would be an easy way to uh, select the one that you want to use for the language that is your language. Let's say I want to uh, put the Waze app to sleep. That's real simple to do. I press again on the icon. Right up here is like a power button. When I press the power button, then the sleep mode comes up and it says Waze is currently inactive. You are not using battery, contributing data, or earning points. Like that. Okay, let's wake up Waze. The incredible thing about the Waze app is that it knows what's moving in a location, especially in urban location in major cities, based on drivers that have the app. In New York City, for example, when it's real quiet, not too much movement around, which might be, for example, uh, 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning, there would probably be only four or five, 6,000 Waze app users in New York City. Later, as traffic builds, as people come out, as drivers are moving around, it could be as many as 60,000 drivers around New York City that are moving, and that's how the Waze app knows, especially for the major highways and roadways, what's moving, what's not moving, and its default is going to send us the fastest possible combination of trips based on tracking drivers that are moving around New York City or whatever city that you're working in. So I hope you find this instruction helpful and do drive safe.